So over the past two years, we've brought you these stories of what appears to be a tug of war between Internet cafes and the law. Just as quickly as the state shuts them down, it seems these businesses open right back up again, only to be shut down yet again. Just last Friday, police raided two Internet cafes on the west side. John of Force Scott Johnson looked into the legalities of this to find out why these owners continually insist what they're doing is legal, then they wind up arrested. Each time these internet cafes reopen, people keep showing up. And I go ask the owners, what's the deal? They just shut you down. They say, well, we changed our games. We changed the technology. And now they're technically legal. And then the state comes back again, just shut down two more. So we're now looking into where's the disconnect here? The owners say they're legal. The state of Florida says they're not. And the state of Florida says it's a group of attorneys giving these owners bad advice. The latest arrests were in two raids on Normandy and Blanding Boulevards Friday. And Jacksonville Sheriff John Rutherford said there are more undercover operations going on right now to shut these places down. So I asked why these facilities keep getting shut down, then reopening, then shut down again by police. Both sides say they're on the right side of the law. It seems like we repeatedly seem to have an attorney or attorneys that seem to continually be willing to take the steps in Duval County to say that this is legal and to put their necks out, essentially, and continue to say that this is legal. I sat down with local attorney Gene Nichols. He's familiar with many of these cases, particularly the highest profile case where local attorney Kelly Mathis was convicted for an Internet cafe scam with allied veterans. I would be shocked to know that there is a lawyer out there who is telling somebody specifically and putting it in paper even, hey, these, what you are doing is legal. What I would suspect is lawyers are advising their clients, especially because of Kelly Mathis, this may be legal, it may not be legal, you need to make the best judgment you can, here's what the law says, here's what I think. He says the problem is the law the legislature passed last year banning internet cafes and calling them illegal gambling can only be worded so well. And since the manufacturers of these gaming machines can change the software just a bit to get around the wording of the law, these places keep opening. But law enforcement has zero tolerance for them. So what this means is a jury will have to determine if the operators of these cafes are in fact breaking the law. It is, it's absolutely feasible they could win in court because it just depends upon whether or not what they are now doing, the changes in technology in these machines, does that violate Florida statute. And with the changes in the law, the legislature passed through fairly quickly a law that does have some loopholes. And Nichols says he expects the next legislative session, the legislature will close some of the loopholes to make sure these things can't open back up. But the difficulty with this law is you do have some legal gambling in Florida, like dog tracks and Indian casinos on reservations. So the concern is that you can't make the law too broad, otherwise you affect those which are allowed in Florida. Something they'll have to deal with in Tallahassee. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.